Hello friend, welcome back. I'm really glad that you are here. In this video, I want to discuss about that things with you. After end of this session, what we will going to build. We will create one complete code application with also the image. That means how can insert data into the database, how can read data from to the database, how can update data and also how can delete data from to the database. And we will create this project with using Laravel latest version Laravel 7. So from to the scratch, step by step, we will create this project. So that is basic one of the project. Please give me some time for explain you what it should be look like. Like first of all, they have some of the field as in product name, the product code, and there is a details option, and there is a product logo. And also here I define some of the action as a show, edit, and the delete. And also in our details here, if you want to put some of the limitations, like after some of the 70 character, it should be redacted to our dot dot position. Okay, how can put some of the limitation in our description area? I will show you that things with the live example. And also they have the designation system. So here I defined some of the limitation. After five posts, it should be redacted to our another page for the designation. Like if you go here, now you can see there is another all that our contain. So there is all that our product contain data in our second page. So here, how we can put some of the limitation for the product here, I define that limitation as a five post will really be visible. So after that five, it should be detected to our second page. Okay. And also they have the option for the create a new product. So now if you click on here, see into these positions, they have the product name or field and other the product code field, the product description field and choose the image. So right now for better understand, I want to do, I want to insert some of the product, like for education purpose, I want to do, I want to copy some of the demo text okay i just copy it and here i put that name as a product name i just define some of the product code and also for the description here i define some of the description okay i just copy it and here i just simply define the description okay and also if you want to choose some of the image from your computer so i just click on the choose file and now from here what of the image you will choose like here i choose this one click on the open so here I define our product name, product code, the product details information, that is a product image. And now if you click on the submit, now you can see when our product will be inserted in our database, then it will be show some of the notification with the message as a product created successful. Okay, so now you can see it's now showing that message. And also if you go our second page, here you can see that is our product. So that is our product name, that is our product code, the product details, and also the new image. And when you insert that data into the database, they have some of the images, right? So this image will be automatically saved in our project. Like if you go to the public, into the public, there is a public folder, there is a media folder. And here you can see that is our images. And also this image will create some of the unique name. So how can create this type of one of the unique name when this image will be inserted in your database? Automatically, it will be created one of the unique names. So how can defining it? I will show you that things with the live example. So now they have also one of the actions, like if you click on the show, now you can see it's now showing our product name, the product code, and that is our product details, and that is the images. And our URL is a product with a specific some of the ID. So how can define this type of one of the URL? I will show you. And also if you want to edit that product, like here I will open it. Now I just want to edit it. Now you can see it's not perfectly getting our specific ID data that is a product name, the product code, the description and the images. So now if you want to update that product name, I just updated the product name, update the product code, update the details option and also I want to change that image. So for education purpose, now I want to do, I want to use this one. Okay, I want to change it. I want to replace it. So here I want to replace it and then I just choose this one. Now open it. And also this picture is already saved in our directory. So if you go here, you can see in this picture is already saved in our directory. So I also discuss about that things with you when you update any image or this image will be replaced. That means it will be deleted and our new image will be saved in particular that area. I show you then it will be very much clear to you. So here right now I want to update it. Click on the submit. Now you can see when this product will be updated, they have the another message it should be visible as a product updated successful. So that is the another notification. And now if you go here, now you can see it's now perfectly updated that product name, the product code, the details, and also it's now updated the image. So as I told you before, when you upload the new image with a specific some of the ID data, then our previous image will be replaced. Like now if you go to our directory, 
now you can see this picture is totally gone and that is replaced with our new image so you can define this type of one of the condition i will show you that things with the live example so now it's perfectly updated that contain and also they have option for the delete like if you click on here first of all it will be show some of the alert that are you sure to delete so if you click on the cancel then it will be redacted to our same page rather than if you click on the ok now you can see when this product will be deleted then it should be display some of the message as a product deleted successful okay there's also they have that another notification with the different message and now if you go to our second page now you can see this product is totally gone from here and also i have discussed about that things with you when this product will be gone our this image also will be gone from our directory like now if you go here now you can see our this image is totally gone from our directory area so it's very much interactive one of the things when your any product will be deleted then automatically this deleted product images also will be deleted from your directory okay so how can define this type of condition i will show you so friend as i told you before that is pretty much one of the basic one of the code application but with lot of the functionalities and we will build it from to the scratch and step by step everything will be very much clear to you so let's start it to build this project with using laravel 7 Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.